Hey folks, let's learn something new about the oil and gas industry. All right, today we're gonna to talk about how the role of a salesperson has changed in oil and gas. Um, 20 years ago, when I got my start in oil and gas at, with a phone company in the East called Bell South, part of being a good salesperson is you were an educator, right? You went out and you actually showed pr prospects all the bells and whistles, right? Your products and services and features that you had. So, because they didn't know what you had to offer them. And then you went to a solution sales type of position and then you end up closing deals. Well, that world has totally changed because of technology. So let's talk about a couple things. Number one, sales reps get involved way later in the process than they used to. In the old days, the literally the sales process would start with that first client interaction with the sales rep. Now our data shows that about 50% of the buying journey has been done by the time the client reaches out to you. So you just need to understand that once you get involved, it's much later in the process. Number two, you need to provide good tools to help your clients make good decisions, but don't be overbearing. Um, because the clients have done their research and they understand their problem and they understand the, the portfolio of solutions out there, don't come in and be a know-it-all. That just makes you look like a bad salesperson. Come in and help fill in the gaps of their knowledge. Provide tools, but don't be pushy. And number three, cold calling has changed. Boy, it has changed dramatically. Uh, we have a whole team here that does nothing but set highly qualified sales meetings for our clients' appoint, our clients sales teams. And in the old days, that team would have been people basically dialing for dollars. That doesn't work anymore. Nobody answers a phone called with a number they don't recognize because of caller ID, right? We have voicemail, we have email, right? There's a lot of spam out there. So the process of cold calling has changed. Now its effectiveness is still very high. When we get it right, we get about a 70% conversion, right? That means seven out of 10 people we reach out to agree to meet with our client sales teams. But now it's much more about marketing, it's about um, inbound lead generations, about social media. The mix has changed, the process has changed, but cold call is still effective. Just understand that it's not the same way it was 20 years ago. And then finally, and this is the one that we preach all the time, you need to be a problem solver, not a salesperson. Nobody likes the sales guy that comes in and tries to push stuff down people's throat that they don't want. If the prospect you're talking to doesn't have a problem you solved, you need to go somewhere else. And in oil and gas, because this is so enormous, you need to figure that out rather quickly. You could spend every day of the week meeting with highly qualified um, prospects in oil and gas that have budget and they will never buy from you because you're not addressing the problem that they have. So you need to quickly eliminate those that won't buy from you so you can concentrate on those people that you can help that will buy from you. Now I have a quick favor to ask. If you like our work, will you do me a favor and click one of these social share buttons and share it? And if you're watching this on YouTube, those buttons don't exist. So head over to modalpoint.com and share it for us, right? Second thing, if you haven't signed up for our blog post and our monthly newsletter, please sign up. It's right here at the right side of our, on, our, on our blog page. And then we have a book coming out in 2015, How to Sell an Oil and Gas. Um, so um, we just wanna let you know about it because um, somewhere next year, it may be something worth you wanna look into. So folks, I hope this helped. We will see you next time.